guys, it's Annie back with another video. So in my last video, I talked all about how subscriber counts and view counts on YouTube really are absolutely nothing but vanity metrics, how neither one really plays any sort of a role in having a successful YouTube channel, and sort of how to refocus your mindset and your focus as a creator. Now in this video, I want to focus on and share with you guys all the stats and analytics that YouTube gives us as creators that are actually a whole lot more helpful and productive. Basically just all of these stats and analytics that every single creator but especially newer creators really want to be focused on to grow forward. So let's first start off with where you actually see all of your channel stats and analytics. So as creators we have access to what is called the YouTube Creator Studio that you can access either on a computer whether it's a laptop or a desktop or if you're on mobile whether you have an iPhone or an Android or an iPad or a tablet, you can download the YouTube Creator Studio app from your chosen app store and have that on your mobile device. Now on both your computer and or your mobile device, once you're inside of the Creator Studio app, there's going to be a section that is titled Analytics. This is where you're going to find basically every single stat that is pertaining to your channel. Depending on whether you're using your computer or your phone or tablet, things may be laid out a little bit differently, but it's all the same data and information. So now the very first stat that I think is really really important for all creators to understand is how are your viewers finding your videos. This is going to be really really helpful for us as creators to understand how are people finding your videos on YouTube and also which traffic sources across YouTube's platform are working for you and not working for you. So if you're in the creator studio on desktop you'll want to go over into analytics then under the content tab and scroll all the way to the bottom. If you're on your phone or tablet, you'll want to go into the Creator Studio app under the analytics section and then scroll sort of to the middle of the screen until you see that same tab that says how viewers found your video. Now looking over this stat, it's basically going to rank every single traffic source on YouTube's platform and rank it based off of which one or ones are bringing you the most traffic and the most views. So for me, for as long as I can remember, browse features and YouTube search have been my top traffic sources, which is exactly as I want. It. But let's say for example you look at your traffic sources and browse features is a lot lower than some others, that may be a pretty good indicator that YouTube is not pushing out your videos. Or if you see that YouTube search is a lot lower, that may be an indicator that you want to work a little bit harder on ranking your videos in search and getting views from search rankings. Then in that very same stat you have these little bubbles that say like external and YouTube search. This is going to give you a little bit more detail on exactly which external external sources outside of YouTube are bringing your videos traffic. Also, what are exact things that people are searching for on YouTube that is bringing them to your videos? And also, what are other people's videos on YouTube that your videos are being suggested on? This tool and this stat is overall just really, really helpful to understand where exactly on YouTube are your views and traffic coming from, and also which one or ones are not really working for you all that much that you may want to work on. Then on to the next stat, you don't have to look too far because it's right Right there beside your traffic sources and that is your top videos window which basically tells you in this month's period which of your videos on your channel brought you the most amount of views. Now again like I said in my last video just looking at how many views your video got is not going to tell you anything because it's literally just a random number floating on a screen. It doesn't give you any other details or information or serve you any other purpose. However what the stat is actually really really helpful for is let's say that YouTube tells you you've got 30,000 views in the last month or you've gotten a hundred thousand views in the last month. Again that is just a number that gives you no other detail or purpose versus having YouTube tell me which of my videos brought the most amount of views in the last month that is going to help me to figure out which topic or topics on my channel is interesting my audience the most. It's going to tell you that these videos versus these videos really struck a chord with your audience and you may want to make more of this content which is going to be so so helpful for planning videos going forward because now you know which topic or topics your audience really wants to see from you and what videos they're a lot more likely to actually want to watch and click on. Which can also be really really helpful if you tend to make multiple types of content on your one same channel. It's really going to help you to know out of all these different types of content and topics and different videos which one or ones is my audience more interested in. Moving on into the audience tab, another analytic and stat that is actually pretty similar
similar to the last one. This is titled other videos your viewers watched. Now let me reiterate here that your goal as a creator on YouTube is not to copy somebody else's video. It's not to take another creator or YouTubers idea and recreate it. However, you can definitely use all of this data and information to your advantage to again get a really good sense of what ideas or topics your audience is searching for and watching across YouTube. Typically, there's about two to three pages of videos here that YouTube is going to show you to get an idea of what other videos on YouTube your audience and viewers are watching. Now, on average, when I'm looking at this stat, usually all the videos are around the topics of growing an audience on YouTube, monetizing your videos, and making money on YouTube, as well as content creation, which absolutely 100% makes sense because that's pretty much all the content I'm creating on this channel. So that's just a really good indicator that I'm definitely reaching my target audience and that's what they're looking for. But if you're a newer creator or even a more experienced creator and you're really struggling to tap into what it is your audience is looking for, coming up with ideas your audience wants to watch, this is going to really, really help you to narrow down what topics they're searching for and wanting to watch. So then we have what is possibly my favorite stat in the entirety of the YouTube Creator Studio, which is titled What's Going On? This is basically a written summary that YouTube gives you on any one of your videos that exactly explains why your video is either performing really, really well or underperforming. Unfortunately, YouTube only shows you this stat on your most recent videos, so you definitely want to check this either the day of or the day after you post. But this is just a really, really helpful stat because it helps you to really take the guesswork out of why did this video get a lot more views than usual or why did it really just underperform? It's going to tell you exactly why so you know exactly what worked and what didn't work. In a recent video of mine that actually performed better than my last eight videos on my channel, YouTube basically explained to me that this video did a lot better than the other videos because firstly, more of my regular viewers were showing an interest in this video and clicking on it and watching it, but also that video got more clicks when YouTube put it on people's recommended pages, which makes YouTube actually push it out more and recommend it more to people. Versus on one of my other recent videos that really, really underperformed, YouTube actually gave me the complete opposite summary, saying that less of my regular viewers are watching this video, and when YouTube actually recommends this video to people, less people are clicking on it. Which is just really, really helpful as a creator because rather than looking at how many views your video got and thinking to yourself, oh, that got a lot of views or it got not all that many views. Rather than just giving you a random number that's not going to help you to improve your content or do better or continue growing, this tool is so much more productive and helpful and gives you specifics as to why a video did or didn't perform. So this is just really going to help you going forward to improve your content and make better videos, continue to engage your audience and grow your audience and be successful going forward. Now a final stat that you definitely want to pay a lot more attention to when it comes to making better videos on YouTube is your key moments for audience retention, which essentially just gives you so much insight into exactly what is either keeping people watching your video or pushing them off of it. If you want YouTube to pick up your videos and push them out and put them in front of more people so that you can grow your audience, the number one most important factor the algorithm is looking for is whether or not people are clicking onto your video and whether or not it's holding interest. So if you look at your key moments for audience retention on any one of your videos on your channel, it's first going to tell you at the 30 second mark of your video what percentage of the viewers are still watching, which is absolutely crucial because YouTube's algorithm wants to know in the first 30 seconds of your video, is the content engaging enough to keep people watching or are people just clicking right off the video? And then from then on, from that point forward across the rest of your video, the longer you're holding attention, the better, which is the main reason why this stat and this chart actually exists so that you can see across different points of your video what is keeping people watching, what is holding interest, or what is actually boring people and pushing them off your video. This is really, really going to help you going forward to make videos that are so much more engaging, that hold people's attention a whole lot longer, and that are really, really going to help you to grow your audience and grow your channel. So as a whole, I definitely think that all of the analytics and stats within the YouTube Creator Studio are really helpful to a certain extent, but these are definitely the stats stats and analytics that I personally find a whole lot healthier and a lot more productive to focus on. And the 
the ones I really think that every single creator needs to be tracking if you want to be successful on YouTube. The last little note I definitely want to touch on in this video is just a little reminder that stats and analytics on YouTube go up and down and up and down and up and down. As creators, whether that's on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or a blog, your traffic and your performance is going to have really, really high months and much lower months. And all of that is dependent on a whole lot of different factors and circumstances. Among many, many other circumstances and reasons, one of the biggest factors for higher or lower performance can be seasonal changes. For example, during the holiday seasons in November, December, January, creators see their stats and analytics and performance go a lot higher. This also happens in the summer when a lot more people are no longer in school, some people are on vacation from work, versus in the earlier spring months and in the fall months, traffic can be a lot slower and a lot lower. So when you go into your creator studio or your analytics and you see things like your channel got 20% less views this month than it did last month, those analytics are not helpful, they're not productive, they're not healthy, and usually about 99.9% .9 of the time they do not draw you an entire picture. Oftentimes when you see less traffic or less views, you automatically assume, wow, must be my channel, must be that my videos are just not that good. Oftentimes we're just automatically critical of our own channels and our own content and don't really think about external circumstances like seasonal changes. So just remember that performance and growth is always going to be on an up, down, up, down trajectory. It's never going to be a straight line up or a straight line down. And that is not always a reflection of your content or your channel. But yeah, you guys, that is all that I wanted to share in this video. Those are all by far my favorite stats to look at and track as a YouTube creator. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you all for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.